Hello, you're watching Avenue X, where Zhang Kian good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. Yao Gun Kuang Hua Rocket Mom is a 12 episode drama that has just finished airing on the platform Ai Qi Yi. As it is so short, it also was a continuously airing drama. It went live on the 11th of October and then finished airing on the 15th. It is an original script drama written by the scriptwriter Zhang Jianxi, directed by two directors Li Jun, Jin Li Peng, and it's led by Yao Chen, Zhuang Dafei. The story is quite straightforward. You have a pair of mother and daughter who are the main focus of the story. At the beginning of the story, the mother comes back from the United States to China as she has been away for 12 years. She had a really successful rock and roll band career many years ago when she was very young, but then at the peak of her fame, she got married to a not so responsible guy and got pregnant too early, gave birth to her daughter. After she had a kid a few years later, she broke up with her husband and then decided to try her luck in the States and left. As it turned out, it was a wrong decision. She didn't really make it happen when her daughter is already 19 years old and just got into college. Her ex-husband dies. To attend the funeral and deal with what happens afterwards, particularly they had an apartment they bought many years ago that now worth a lot of money and she needs to come back and deal with all that. She comes back to China and meeting the daughter that she hasn't seen for 12 years and then the story starts from there. And we're gonna see all the drama and all the <laughs> rather funny and unthinkable scenarios that's gonna happen. I'll give this drama a at least two goat mine drama. I don't think it's a three yet, but I probably will put it at like 2.5 almost there. It's a really good drama, something I totally didn't see coming. I really cannot think of very significant problems with this drama, to be honest. Okay? So most of what I'm gonna talk about are the good things and reasons why you should check out this drama. Number one, production quality, very good. And it's better than the average good contemporary dramas. I like its cinematography. It's not idealizing anybody's looks. The color is rich, the contrast is right. It really is more veered towards the cinematic look than the video-ish look. The music, editing, sound effects, all those also work very well. And you probably wouldn't say it has created its own distinctive look, but it's overall very textured and good. Second thing, Yao Chen. She is a little bit contested in China on internet because of a couple of things she said previously that she, she kind of gets tagged as a particular type of very unwelcomed person these days overall in the Chinese internet atmosphere. But the thing is with her, nobody ever criticizes her on her professional side of things. So that just says she's a really good actress and she can do the work like a professional. And before I watch this drama, I have no idea that there is this side of Yao Chen. Previously, with the things I've seen her in, whether it's All Is Well, which is probably in recent years one of her better known works, or in cinema, or even older days when she made her name now in the comedy sitcom show Wu Ling Wai Zhuan. I never know she had this side because I also didn't hear about this project, so I went in it blind, just seeing the poster, knowing she plays a rock and roll singer. I'm like, oh, Let's see. And immediately she makes it believable. The way she carries herself, the way she talks, the way she <laughs> puts on her makeup, and then when she goes on stage and starts singing, immediately own the place and that queen vibe just comes out of her. I'm like, Whoa. Proper actress who can do the proper job. She does sing quite a lot in this drama. And then definitely there's a post-production hub for that type of things, but good enough. Very, very unique voice. Honestly, this drama, the thing that immediately captures me is her acting. You hate her, you love her, you hate her, you love her, and she makes the script version of that character just immediately comes to life and so believable. You have to go and watch this drama to see her performance of all the essential moments, whether it is of this character as a failure, really, of her career as a musician, whether it's a middle-aged woman who's being treated not very kindly by life and at this crisis age of her life, all the psychological problems, health problems she has, and then the difficulties she has with the daughter trying to sort out that very messed up um, relationship where she feels very guilty and not really having done enough for the daughter, but then she is so strong 
minded and character that she just never makes it easy. Uh, the conflict between the two person who both have extremely strong and sometimes over the top characters and temper and the crashes, the energy that happens in the drama. Every facade of this middle-aged woman who is just not doing well in any aspect of her life comes to life with her performance. If it's just for watching that, I think this drama is worth going into for you. Third thing is about the story itself. I can sincerely feel as I watch this drama, the script has been worked on a lot. The person who is responsible for it uh, is one writer credited to him. And I think he probably spent a long time working on this script, tweaking and trimming and making the characters as flamboyant as dramatic, but as believable and as impactful and as strong as possible. You don't really see that type of characters in Chinese dramaland very often. You often see more normal people, whatever career, gender, age group they belong to, uh, they tend to be more of a normal person with a tint of special personality and stuff. And this drama, no, this drama is unapologetic at absurdity of the extreme version of the archetypical characters that it writes. Everybody is a little bit insane in this drama. And therefore a lot of almost unimaginable plot and ways of dealing with conflicts shows up in this drama that it, I cannot think of equivalent in other Chinese dramas in recent years I've watched. It really is over the top, but with its rhythm, with its music, with the way the, the, the atmosphere of the story is set up, it actually works out really well. It's almost like it is ridiculous and absurd, but then so reasonable. It has that energy. It has a, mm. it's not lukewarm. It's not meek. It's not just like, you know, scratch. It's like slap across your face and then hit you with a hammer, falling by a baseball bat and the kicking crouch, that type of situation all the time in this drama. I can literally count out like 10 events that happen in this drama nonstop from now on that will shock you because <laughs> you don't see that in Chinese drama, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to spoil it for you. One thing I want to add on to the story and the script is I really, really like the daughter and mother relationship and pretty much all the other female roles in this drama. When the female lead character, when she was younger and made the band very successful, she has two teammates. One is a drummer, is a lady. The other is a bass, who is also a lady. So there are three girls in this band plus a guy. Now they're all middle-aged and they are all at different stages of their life, family life and also career. And they're not really getting along all very well with each other. Then you have the daughter who is just as strong character as the female lead is. And all the conflict and all the things related to women. I really like how they deal with all the essential plot and characters and their choices and words and really the attitude towards all kinds of very significant things in a woman's life. And it's very rare to see a drama that's written by a guy focuses so much on women that makes them the full rounded flawed fallible but lovely humans and there's one more thing i want to add on for the unusualness of this drama <laughs> compared to every other chinese drama is you see the female lead as an alcoholic and she is from moment one to moment last of the drama pretty much not changing at all an alcoholic i haven't seen any female male characters on chinese drama screen who is with a bottle 95% of the time when she's on screen. And she's always drunk or about to get drunk. <laughs> Just when you think, you know, this type of things probably wouldn't go through censorship, right? In China, no, no, this drama went through. And it's absolutely aggravating sometimes when you see her just mess things up because she gets drunk and she can't control herself. But then also again, you're like, there are so many people actually like that. You just never see them being represented on screen in drama in China. So Yao Chen's role in this drama will definitely open your eyes for like what Chinese drama can do if they really want to do. If I have to say, if there's anything that I wish this drama could do better, I would say I wish Zhuang Dafei's performance can crank it up a little bit more. She, I think naturally comes across as as too nice a young lady. She doesn't have the very strong character, almost face, to start with as Yao Chen has naturally. So whenever the mother and the daughter is in competition, although she is written as a very strong-minded and the mother slaps across her face and then she will kick her back, the type of 
energy. The, the, the outward appearance, I think with styling and everything, doesn't help her. She looks way too timid and normal, okay, as the a little bit extreme version of a young girl who doesn't care about what the parents think. So there's a disconnect almost of her look and then her character, and also her energy is still a little bit too nice as compared to things she does and words she say, and then the type of character who can actually come in competition with her extreme mother. It's just one tiny thing that I pick at the story. It really didn't bother me much while I was watching, but I know if they do it in a little bit different way, maybe it will be even better. At the end of this video, I would again say this is probably the least expected drama for me this year. And it's so short and so easy to watch, and you probably wouldn't get disappointed by anything really that I can think of as you watch this drama, and it really is a very unique and unusual drama. It's actually a very traditional story structure, but the the actual ways of the whole story gets picked piece by piece and put together is <laughs> is a wild ride of the most ridiculous scenarios imaginable. So get ready and get rock and roll <laughs> by the drama Rocket Mom. Yo, good Kuanghua. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.